Hey everybody, I'm John, the artist, innovator, and owner of Three Line Tactical. And today we want to showcase our latest innovation in our fishing holster line of holsters, and that is the bait caster. So this is the latest innovation in our fishing holster line, uh, the Baycaster. And this is the only fishing rod holster on the market specifically designed for the Baycaster rod and reel. You will not find another on the market, I promise you. I searched high and low and they just don't make them uh, it's a little a little bit difficult to to make it's not the easiest thing the uh, design is a little hard to acquire but we've done it here at three line tactical and this is it this one here is in our reaper series uh, this is zombie green this is actually the prototype, the first one that I made. And uh, this fishing rod holster is a great addition to any fisher person's gear. Um, if you are changing a lure, changing your bait, freeing a catch, uh, you want to take a picture, take a video, consume a beverage, use the, the bathroom, help the kids with their rod. This is the holster that you want to have for your bait caster reel. Now, let's get into this thing a little bit. So this is made with the same quality in craftsmanship and materials as our Gen 1s and our Gen 2. This is, like I said, the third one in our series of fishing rod holsters. This one here is our Gen 1. This is for a spin caster. So it securely holds your spin caster on your waist, freeing both of your hands, just like all of our other fishing rod holsters. Acts as a third hand. And it is a high quality, high craftsmanship piece of fishing gear. This is a lifetime piece of equipment. And as such, comes with a lifetime warranty. So that one is our Gen 1. The original. And then we made some improvements on that. Actually, this one here is in... I believe this one is Battleship Gray, also the Reaper series. As you can see, it's got some cool dead fish skeletons on it. Great looking piece of gear. The improvements we made over it, we integrated into the Gen 2. This is the Gen 2 in Rattler Tan. This is the Rattler series. We have three different series for each of our fishing rod holsters. And like I said, we now have three. We have the Gen 1, this is the Gen 2, and the Baitcaster. So the three different series that we have in each one of those are solid colors. Uh, Coyote Tan. This is an example of the Coyote Tan. We have EMT Red. It's an example of that, but this is in the bay caster. And we have Olive Drab Green, which we don't have any right now to show you because they are pretty popular. They sell pretty quick. So I don't have any of those to showcase for you. But anyways, getting back to the Gen 2 here, the innovations that we put into this one are the integrated 28 inch lanyard stainless steel wire 
has a keychain on the end. That wire is nylon coated. It's got a rubber bumper so that when it comes back, it doesn't slam. These come with a badge holder for your fishing license. Uh, you can put credit cards in here. You can put some cash in here. Waterproof, clear on both sides. Um, as a matter of fact, I was out this weekend. I had one of these on. I had my fishing hole, fishing license in there. Uh, an officer from the Fishing Game came up, wanted to see my license. I was simply able to extend this out and show it to him. He thought that was pretty cool. And if they want to see it up close, you can simply unsnap that, take it off, hand it to them. It's got a Ziploc top, keeps everything nice and waterproof, secure. Keychain here, this is a heavy duty lanyard. So you can hang a pair of uh, hemostats from that. You can hang your car keys from it. Small knife if you want to. Um, but it keeps everything right on your person. Most important things you need. And the other thing is this has a channel here. So if you like to break your rod down, you can slip your top part in there. You got your spin caster in there. So that's the Gen 2. But today... We are showcasing the bait caster. And again, <clears throat> same quality materials and craftsmanship. The materials that we use on this is actually a two piece. All of our holsters are two piece. You have the back, which is always a tactical black, and you have the shell, which, like I said, can be in the three colors. Um, we have the Rattler series, Rattler Tan, or uh, Gunmetal. Rattler Gunmetal, and then we have the Reaper H20 series, which is neon green or zombie green, um, and we have a, a whole choice of different colors. This one here is a flat dark earth. It's got a great look to it. This one here is a Rattler series in uh, gunmetal, gunmetal gray. And like I said, we have the solid colors, the tan, the EMT red, or the olive drab green. Materials on this, 0.08 Kydex. Now, you can find holsters, not this one. Like I said, this is the only one on the market specifically made for the baitcaster. But you can find uh, fishing rod holsters on the market. Most of our competitors use a 0.060 Kydex, which is thinner. We step up the quality with a 0 .080. That goes for the back and the shell. Both are made of the same quality Kydex. Screws and the pass-through posts are stainless steel. Black zinc oxide coated. So there's no rusting. The finishing washers here. For the screws are nylon and the rubber grommets or rubber washers in between the back and the shell are EPDM. All of those materials are true tried and tested for outdoor conditions and they have stood the test of time. Um, all of these materials are sourced in the United States. We only do American here, so we only buy parts from American companies. The screws are from Chicago. Kydex comes from Pennsylvania. Actually, Kydex was made by Roman Hawes, which is in Bristol, Pennsylvania. Both of my grandparents retired from there. My uncle worked there, and my aunt retired from there. She was the one that told me that back in the day, their shed was sided with kydex so it is a very high quality very durable material all of these uh, holsters are meticulously handcrafted 
They're molded by hand. They're cut by hand. They're drilled out by hand. They are assembled by hand. No machines. Nothing stamped out. The back, the loops, are integrated into the backing. So there's no clips. Clips, you'll have to drill two holes, you know, put a post and screw in like this. And because that's a stress point, it hangs on your belt. That could cause damage, potentially cause damage, depending on how you use it. So we integrated them, we cut these in, and we molded them. So they are molded for a belt. The back piece is molded with an offset, as you can see here. And what that does is that keeps the holster away from your body. You got some space there. So if you use this while you're walking up and down the creeks, streams, rivers, lake, you know, the back of the lake, it will not rub against you. It will not rub against your jeans, pants, your waders. They're molded with a curve to fit your body. So they are comfortable. You can wear these all day with no issues. And like I said, they are the only holster on the market made specifically for the baitcaster. As you can see, she slides right in there nice. And she locks down. Sits flush. Won't fall out. Securely held. So while you have that in there, you can change your lure. Like I said, free your catch. Do whatever it is you have to do. The reel clears the side. So you can have your reel in any position. These can be made right or left-handed. All you have to do is specify which one. And like I said, they are an absolute, absolutely amazing addition to any fish or person's gear. They also have a channel cut in the back. As you can see, this rod has a trigger right here. It will fit the trigger. No issues. And that's what that slot is for. You can find these on our website, 3 tactical.com. We also now have a Netsy page. So if you want to check them out there, our website is um, by Shopify. So if you have a Shopify card, you can buy these in payments. If you have a Netsy card, you can buy them in payments there. Another nice feature about these is that the shell is interchangeable. I'll show you that in a minute. So the interchangeable shell, which is another innovation that we have over our competitors. Most of our competitors, uh, their holsters are cut very narrow here. And they are basically riveted to the back piece with no separation. The reason why we put the separation in here is for moisture, water. I mean, you're fishing with this thing, it might get wet. So there's plenty of drainage anywhere for any water to escape. So it won't retain the water. Uh, the other thing is our competitors, like I said, they use the 0 .060. Kydex, which is thinner than our version, which is the point zero eight zero, And that adds strength to the holster. And that's why we can offer a lifetime guarantee on these. The other thing is we make ours wider and we have flanges for our screws. 
What that does is it keeps the stress point from being close to where the actual stress is from putting the rod in and out. Brings that out here. Less stress, less chance of these posts ripping out. And with the .080, I highly doubt they're ever going to rip out. But let's show you how we change these out. So, real simple. Screws are Phillips head screws, so you don't need a special kind of screwdriver. Just put a little pressure on the back post with your finger. Because these posts have a clutch, which keeps them from inadvertently unscrewing. Take these four screws out. Real easy. Takes no time at all. Save your screws and washers. And those washers also add to the strength. Gives that screw more surface area. Less chance of any damage to the holster. Simply pop that off. You see the posts with the EPDM washers. And all you got to do, let's say you want to do a solid color, you just line those holes up. And there you go. Now you have a red one. The solid colors are the cheapest that we sell on our website. So if you wanted to start out with one of these, and let's say you wanted to step it up to a Reaper series, there you go. Just put your screws back in. Let's say you wanted to change it out to a Rattler series. There you go. Pop it in, put your screws in, and you're off and fishing. Now you got a new looking holster. We sell these shells separately on our website. So you don't have to go through the expense of buying an entirely new holster with the back, screws, and all that. And just buy a shell. Send it out to you, like I just showed you, you unscrew it, it's a little hard to work with the camera here, it's in front of my face, but and there you go, put your screws back in, then you're set, change that look. Like I said, you can only find these at 3 linetacticalcom just navigate, just uh, go over in the navigation bar to fishing holsters, click the little drop down, and you'll see our Gen 1, Gen 2, and the Baitcaster. This is, again, the only one on the market specifically made for the Baitcaster rod and reel. With a trigger, without a trigger, doesn't matter. It will fit in there securely. I'll show you an example. Most of our competitors, they have this, which is basically our Gen 1. You see that narrow channel. And what they tell you is you can slip it in there, which you can. And you can just jam it in there. But as you can see, the reel sits up off the holster. Could cause damage to the outside of the holster. You rub that design off after, you know, years of use. But the other thing is, is that when it's like this, if you think about it, the, whole, the rod no longer sits here. It sits up and away. And if that's on the side of your body, as you can see, it shoots it out to the side. So now your line's further away, harder to reach. Just not efficient. So we spent the time to come up. With the innovation to specifically make this for the bait caster. It sits nice and flush. That rod's perfectly in line. And as you can see, it doesn't shoot it off to the side out here. So that's in line with your body makes accessing your line to change a bait, remove catch, remove debris from the from your hook. Super easy. Again, 
won't fall out. You won't find this anywhere, but three line tactical. So check us out. We're hard at work getting these out. These are in production right now, so you can purchase them. And uh, everybody have a great time out there fishing. Thank you.